Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this quick video I will show you how to update Kodi on an Amazon Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire TV, or Fire TV Television to the latest stable release. First, we need to determine what the newest version of Kodi is. And you can easily do that by looking at the title of this video. As of this recording, the stable release is Kodi 20.2. When there are new Kodi updates, I will update the title accordingly. Next, we need to determine what version of Kodi we're currently using. And that's very easy. Just go into Kodi, click the gear icon, go into system information, and towards the bottom, you're going to see build. And this is currently on 20.1. And as I said, by looking at the title of this video, the current stable release is 20.2 so we can definitely update. Now I'm gonna go back to the previous screen. If you are using a Kodi build, that's a bundle of add-ons installed into one package, you're going to want to go into interface, and again, within your build, you should be able to go into settings or system. Somewhere in there, you should see an area for skin. And you want to go into skin and change it back to the default skin and here as you can see estuary is the Kodi default skin so you want to choose that before updating once you're finished updating you can come back in and change back to the skin that your build offers since i am not using a build i don't need to do that i'm going to exit out of Kodi. Now the next step is installing the free application downloader if you don't already have it. Click search, start typing in downloader, and you'll notice after you type in the first few letters it appears in the list. Click downloader, click the big orange icon, and install it. Okay, downloader has been installed. You don't want to open it just yet. Go back to the home screen. Hover over the gear icon, go into My Fire TV, and we want to go into Developer Options. Now, if for some reason you don't see Developer Options on this menu, what you want to do is go into About, and you're going to highlight the name of your Fire TV device. In my case, I'm using the Fire TV Stick 4K Max, so I would highlight that, and then I would click the OK button or Select button on my remote, seven times and you're going to notice when I do that I get a message that says no need you are already a developer but if you haven't already done this once you click this seven times it's going to say you are now a developer and then when you click the back button on your remote go back to the previous screen you're going to see developer options on this menu go into that now on this screen you're going to see ADB debugging is on for me that's for the mouse toggle that I've installed, you do not need to turn this on to update Kodi or install or sideload applications. Okay, I'm gonna go into Install Unknown Apps. I'm gonna highlight Downloader, click the OK button on my remote, and that will turn on Unknown Apps. And the reason we want to do that is we're updating the Kodi application. Kodi is not in the official Amazon App Store, and that's why we need to turn this on. We're installing unknown apps. That means they are not a part of the official Amazon App Store. Now, if you're using an older Fire TV device, all you're going to see is one toggle on this screen that covers all the applications on the device. And all you need to do is turn that toggle on. All right, back to the home screen. I'm going to go into the page that shows all of my applications by clicking the icon to the left of the gear shortcut. Downloader is in this list. I'm going to go ahead and launch Downloader. Click Allow. Click OK. Now I'm going to click the Up button on my remote to put the cursor in the URL box. Click the OK button on my remote. And I'm going to type in 250931. That's the code for the free TroyPoint Toolbox. Click Go. The TroyPoint Toolbox will allow us to install dozens of applications not available 
within the Amazon App Store, and Cody is one of them. Okay, the Troy Point Toolbox has loaded. Now, when you first land on this page, I strongly suggest marking this as a favorite in Downloader because, like I said, there are dozens of applications that you can install here. And to add this as a favorite, all you have to do is hold down on the OK button of your remote for a few seconds. Click Add Current Page to Favorites. Move down. Click Save. And then when you move over to the left, go into Favorites. It will be listed here in this section. And when you click that, it will open the toolbox without entering the special code. And you don't need to wait for the five second load screen with the ads. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down now and find the Kodi application. And right towards the top, you will see we have the stable release of Kodi always available here. And then below that, we have previous releases as well that you can download and install if you would like. But as I mentioned, we are showing you how to update Kodi. And believe it or not, the update process is the same as installing it. So as you can see here, 20.2 is the stable release. And like I showed earlier, I am on 20.1. So I'm gonna click download. And you will know that this is properly updating if you get this screen here where it says, do you want to install an update to this application? And it says your existing data will not be lost. So I'm gonna go ahead and click install. App installed, I'm gonna click done. And the reason I always click done is because I want to delete the installation file. There's no need to leave this on the device. Click delete and then delete again. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Launch Kodi. And you'll see there it says V20.2 on the Kodi logo. And it's doing the first run like we would usually see when first installing Kodi. And then if I come up, click the gear icon, go to system information, towards the bottom there, it says build 20.2. We have now successfully updated Kodi on our Fire Stick. As you can see, a very simple process. We're basically following the same procedures as we would for installing the application. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified when I release new tutorials like this in the future. And also be sure to visit me on my website at troypoint.com for thousands of tutorials relating to the Fire Stick and Android TV devices. Thanks for following Troy Point and have an awesome day.